Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday, start to a brand new week, but this week is different because Team of the Year starts this Friday in FIBA 23. The excitement is building and the questions are arising. What should we do to get prepared for Team of the Year? Is there anything we can buy or stuff to just think through to get our minds right for the big promo that is coming this Friday? That's what I'm gonna do to start off the week this week and especially regarding the market, take a look at how the 87 plus hero player pick impacted prices yesterday everywhere because EA went back to back with the 100 players upgrade on Saturday and then yesterday on Sunday they went with the 87 plus base or FIFA World Cup hero player pick a one of three we can do it again on Friday at the start of team of the year as well so that's going to impact the market even more then but in the here and now it's dropped some prices could some prices be a buy at the moment before we head out of this weekend and into this week will some cards actually start to rise back up or will we still see some more drops there's a lot to talk about in that regard as well and i want to speak about what to expect today on the game are ea going to go with a madness again and drop another sort of gamble sbc pack maybe like an icon pack or are they just going to keep it simple and drop us maybe another 80 plus or 81 plus double upgrade or a player pick of some sort so we can try to pack these centurions cards or save for team of the year there's a lot to talk about today so if you're excited for team of the year hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new let's talk about team of the year voting because that's where our conversation should start today the voting is not over yet today is the last full day of voting i'm sure a lot of you guys have already voted but this just signals the end of all of the hearsay all of the opinions and all of the conversation about team of the year and what it really starts is the facts and the leaks especially and i do expect to see leaks for team of the year i'm not entirely sure when but we will take a look at um what's kind of happening with this team of the year vote and predictions and leaks and stuff like that in a video here very very soon i'm gonna have some price predictions out around the team of the year players i think will be in and how much they will cost but if you're taking a look at team of the year as a whole and getting your club ready for it there are a couple things you can do the first thing i would urge you to do is make a plan right i know what my plan is to do during team of the year i'm going to open a bunch of upgrade packs with the coins that i have buy players do upgrade packs and then from that i'll be able to hopefully pack as many team of the years as i possibly can and craft a lot of sbcs right i'll be doing the hero player picks the icon packs the other great player sbcs that they dropped during team of the year last year we had a flashback veron that everybody remembers they drop a ton of player sbcs during team of the year so i want to be able to craft those with all the packs that i open right that's my goal during team of the year is to basically make my team look completely different by the time we start team of the year until the end because i want to have some team of the year cards in here some brand new big boy sbc players that they drop and all that sort of stuff or maybe it's an icon you want to craft that's kind of my goal i know a lot of you guys are going to be opening packs as well maybe you're saving packs or maybe you just want to buy a team or you want to buy a couple of players for your team right figuring out what you want to do in team of the year which obviously can change uh as they drop the content as you see the team of the year you might be like mm, i want to buy these team of the year cards and put them in my team not so much so i want to buy maybe a centurion's kimpembe maybe i want to buy the team of the year marquinhos if he gets a team of the year or van dyke whoever it may be so your plan can change but just start to think about how what am i wanting to do during team of the year and how can i prepare right for myself i want to do a lot of upgrade packs now i'm not the type of person to go unassigned but if you want to do a lot of upgrade packs one of the best pieces of advice that I can give you is start stocking your club with gold rares and gold non-rares and don't be tempted to put them into other SBCs that drop this week or if you do make sure you replenish those right but these cards are basically all discard and in the previous number of years of FIFA EA have gone between they've gone back and forth requiring players from specific leagues and then not requiring players from specific leagues I will tell you right now you can get all of the leagues I believe let me check league one but all the gold rares on the market are still at discard i'm pretty sure league one rares they're still at discard but people are starting to bid on them at 650 as you can tell maybe a little bit this stuff i would try to stock first league one and premier league and maybe even la liga because those are going to be the most popular leagues that just in case ea requires specific rare golds in upgrade packs people will look to get those cards first so stock your club with those for sure 650 700 coins i mean those gold cards during team of the year whether you're doing it for an investment or just to stock the club will probably be in excess of like 1500 coins at some point when people are doing upgrade packs so that's an investment or just a smart thing to do way ahead of time um, for your club and prepare with non-rares as well 
also for an investment or to get SBCs done for cheaper, uh, take a look at some of the gold commons from specific leagues. I know that some leagues are already up right now. I believe all non-rares are like 400 coins at the moment. But during Team of the Year, EA is always releasing those daily Team of the Year challenges. And last year, like we saw during Black Friday and during the big, big promos that they always release, like these daily challenges, right? I think we have a couple of Centurion challenges maybe last week. I don't think we have any that are live right now. But you guys know what I'm talking about, right? The packs or the SBCs that they drop that you get a mega pack from. Or maybe you get like a small rare gold players pack and it's like an, a set, an 80 rated squad or a 75 rated squad with a certain number of players from a specific nation or league. Stock your club with non-rares and rares, and even some silvers from top nine nations, top five leagues. Get that stuff stocked in your club for close to discard. I know I know not all cards are like discard right now. Some of your like league one non-rares are still inflated because of the um, the winter league premium SBC and those upgrade SBCs that are out. But that's a really smart thing you can do if you're looking to build packs or make coins during team of the year is stock your club with some of that stuff. So maybe go on Footbin, do some research about what players from certain nations or leagues go up a lot. And if you want to see how to do that all you have to do is go in here to the players tab on footbin drop down hit fifa 23 players like i am right here then we're going to go to version gold or silver uh, i clicked on gold rares let's go to gold non-rares really fast gold non-rares we'll go sorting by price so you'll see who's the most expensive and you'll scroll down so maybe after you get past these guys let's go to like page four right after we get past those League One cards that are very, very high in price, let's take a look at, like, Jordan Pickford. Does his price move a lot when we get SBCs? He's gone over 1,000 coins twice this year, but he doesn't move that much. What about Juan Bernat, who's 900 coins right now? He was 2K earlier. You know, stuff like this is what I would go and stock my club with. Try to get some of these guys on bid. Even, like, 81-rated Harry Maguire, he's gone over 1,000 coins multiple times this year as SBC fodder. That stuff is going to bang at some points during Team of the Year. Stock your clubs with that sort of stuff now let's talk more about the market because some of you guys might be like nate i'm trying to buy a team during team of the year what should i be doing in terms of cards especially if they're out of packs cards or cards that could be going out of packs because they will be getting a team of the year i'm really watching this mbappe man he's 700 000 coins he dropped off a very sizable amount yesterday because of the 87 plus player pick and i want to take a look at that here but just to stick on the topic of mbappe's card mbappe yesterday was what like 7 30 by the way footman updated the whole like interface here on the desktop and it's kind of sick so gg's the footpin with a longer look back on the hourly 14 days hourly really big dub for footpin here but he was 738k went all the way down to 700 flat and that's kind of where he is right now 700 000 coins flat for this mbappe card if the trend from last year stays the same which it may not because we don't know what's going to happen throughout the next part of this week there could be some more hype and some more panic selling still for team of the year that is still a potential but as of right now mbappe is the lowest that he has ever been and he's about to go out of packs this Friday as we assume the attackers will be in packs first. That's what EA do to try to sell the most packs. Um, so if you're looking to buy this guy for your team, this is one of the only cards that I look at on the market right now that's like maybe a buy because of that specific scenario. Now the only problem is Mbappe might have a player of the month coming later on this week if he somehow miraculously wins that award. I know he's going to win the popular fan vote, but if he actually deserves that award and wins it, he could have a player of the month card that could make his gold item drop a little bit further because people know that they will be crafting that team of the or that player of the month Mbappe during team of the year so that's kind of an interesting caveat with this Mbappe card that we have right now but this is one of the only ones right now that I look at on the market that's like really really low now a couple other cards that have dropped down a lot that maybe I'm interested in Kimpembe right I'm not just talking about PSG cards but this is a card that so many people will want after team of the year Neymar right I mean there's a shout for a Neymar team of the year but Neymar was 1.9 million coins and uh what was it just yesterday was it yesterday on Sunday? He was 1.9 mil. My guy is now down to 1.7 flat. That's a card that is down a lot. Position change probably will do well after team of the year at some point, right? Ben Yedder scored a hat trick in the first half yesterday. I think that was one of the reasons why this Centurions card dropped off is because people may be expecting it to be in team of the week this week. But keep an eye on a card like this uh, because that will be an item that so many people 
would want to get into their teams potentially post team of the year. So the only way I would want to be buying a card right now of an out of packs player, let's say it's from a winter wild cards, maybe a Centurions promo player. The only way I would want to buy one of these now with the price drops that we had yesterday would be if this is something that's going to go in your team. And if it's like, okay, Nate, I've been wanting St. Maxman for forever. He's down 100,000 coins. Should I buy this card? Do I still think that Alan St. Maxman's a bit overpriced for the type of card that you get? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, those stats, this state, stage of the game are not that incredible, but I mean, he is down 100,000 coins. I just look for price drops that are around 20%. And Mbappe was 850. And now he's 700,000 coins. That's like 18%, I believe, somewhere around there. So that's one of the reasons why I look at this and say, hmm, we're getting close potentially on a card like this. But it's all very subjective still. There's still time until team of the year. And there still is potential for panic. There's also still potential for people to say, hey, these cards are low enough for me and to want to go out and buy them. So I'm not in a place where I'm trying to buy cards for my team. Um, and I understand that struggle, though, because a lot of people see team of the year as an opportunity to get cards for cheaper prices but of course i think a lot of us were also expecting bigger market drops so kind of like the fodder situation yesterday you can either act early and then potential you know kind of incur some more risk or you can wait a little bit but then also knowing you may pay an increased price for a couple of cards that maybe start to go up even before we get to Friday uh, as the panic potentially ends. We'll just have to see. So that's kind of the wishy-washy scenario that it still is and it's going to be uh, because it feels like some cards in this game still have not dropped off enough. Yeah, I know St. Max is down 100k. Yes, I know his lot time was 3 mil. Now he's like 2.6. But like other cards, you know, they're only down like 5 to 10%. And I'm like, that just to me is not a great enough price, especially with some team of the years that will be coming. I think we're going to have the cheapest team of the year ever this year because the way that the market is. So that is an interesting kind of standpoint that we'll be looking at from the market throughout this next week. But just be careful if you're buying cards for your teams. I'm still feeling like this market right now does not have a lot of demand to it. But we will see, especially on those really hype cards like Mbappe, maybe Alawayrun, World Cup Hero, stuff like that. It's a tricky situation. I really don't have the honest answer for you guys because we just haven't seen like a crazy amount of panic selling yet. It's not as obvious as it has been in years past. Now, speaking of the market and SBCs, we talked about in yesterday's video, investing in SBC fodder. I said I was going to wait. And of course, EA said, hold that, Nate. We're going to drop the 87 plus player pick so that uh, fodder goes up instead of dropping it on a Monday. But this just goes to prove the point that we made in yesterday's video was EA is trying to drain our clubs of coins and of cards as fast as possible before team of the year. And a lot of people are doing this pack, even though it's 60% downvoted on Footbin, it's coming in at 250,000 coins. And I'm seeing people tweet me player picks that look like like this, no man, like this is an SBC that if you don't have more than a million coins at least and some fodder in your club, doing this SBC from scratch is really not good to do before team of the year where we're going to have more SBCs to do like this and you'll have better opportunities to get it done with more packs and fodder. And of course, team of the year cards are in packs and that is going to be the draw to open packs during team of the year. So I think for me, honestly, I know that I have like 5.7 million coins. You're like, Nate, you have the coins. Just do this SBC, man. I will I will do this SBC probably because I'm going to open packs this week. Whatever upgrade pack they drop today, I'm going to be opening some to try to pack Zlatan. But guys, this SBC is such a gamble pack and it's honestly such a scam. Think about how many heroes now are less than 250k. They really jacked the price of this SBC up for giving you that extra slot. Now, I forgot in yesterday's video that they had released the one of two base or world cup player pick already this year but it was a lot cheaper than this one this one is 250,000 coins uh, and of course people love these SBCs and if you did this SBC I'm not trying to make you feel bad because you might have the coins to do it or you had some leftover fodder to do it but guys like look at the market bro 85s going from an index point of 210 all the way to 257 like they're all the way up at 12 13,000 coins I think some of these guys are even 14k in the peak of the selling yesterday, absolutely crazy to see the fodder going up as much as it is right before team of the year. But again, 
EA knows what they're doing, and this is exactly why they're putting out packs like this right now to get people to train their clubs so that they can open packs come Friday and this next week during Team of the Year. So if you have fodder, I mean, 85s at 14K, I would have sold those yesterday. 86s, um, yes, technically this stuff could go up a little bit more throughout the rest of the week. I mean, I don't know at this point. EA would be honestly really dumb, uh, smart and dumb at the same time to release like the 83 times 10 upgrade again, because remember what that did to 85s last week? That took 85s to 14K. They're gonna have to either change up the requirements or put out some other sort of SBC, which I do believe they will do. I don't know if it's gonna drop today. We know we have that 82 plus upgrade that's been um, kind of put in the code. That would be, honestly, in my opinion, 82 plus upgrades are always overpriced. The 81 plus double is like the best value upgrade pack. I really hope that we don't get an 82 plus today for like our daily upgrade pack. Please, EA, don't do that. But if they want to do an 82 plus and make it like, I don't know, you know, 11 gold rares, like you can do it like once, I don't know, five times a day or something. Sure, do that. But will we get some sort of like 80? I keep thinking of the 85 times three guys. I think the 85 times three would be a perfect pack that EA would put here in an SBC to try to get people to save it for team of the year. I really do believe that we're going to see more SBCs like that. I don't know if it's going to be today, but I think Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we will see more gamble packs like that. So if you're holding fodder for the possibility of one of those coming out, I completely understand. But I think, especially on the 85s, selling at that like basically max price of 14K yesterday was probably a good place to be. I really would not invest in any side of the fodder market right now either because all these cards are up. The only side of the market that's still a bit cheap are like 90s and 91s. 60K for Benzema with Zidane, Jarzinho, Gerard, all those icon species that are out keeping these prices a bit more inflated the only way these guys would go up is if ea released some sort of upgrade pack it had to be like an icon pack we got a hero pack maybe they'll do a hero and an icon this week uh, i mean there is a slight bit of potential for that because they could make the hero pack uh they can make an icon pack repeatable and then make it reset inside of the team of the year promo right they're doing this with the base or world cup hero player pick this refreshes on friday when ea is going to try to get people to open packs for team of the year smart ea right they could do the same thing with maybe another uh, icon upgrade pack later on this week get people to do it before team of the year starts and then also have it refresh after team of the year starts to continue to drain coins and have an SBC there that people can drain their clubs of so I feel like that's the only potential this week for the rest of the fodder market the part of the fodder market that is not up yet which are those very high rated cards to go up in price we would need another 88 rated squad or higher basically is what it would take to make these 90s and 91s move because when we get an 88 SBC, sometimes even 87 squads you see these guys move up a bit uh, because the cheaper way to do those higher rated squads is actually to put a really high rated player in or two of them and then fill it in with some lower rated like 83s 86s a couple of those that sort of thing so watch out on that side of the fodder market but honestly, I'm not going to be putting my coins there. I'm going to be very careful with my coins today and throughout this week. I have bought some Aspiliquetas and I bought a Calabria. If I'm going to quick flip trade, and let's talk about today on Monday a little bit more as well. If I'm going to try to make some coins uh, today, usually we see a Monday market rise, right? And, you know, I'm kind of hoping that we see a little bit of one today. Am I expecting it to be massive? Not at all. Really, I believe that yesterday, with the market drop that we had yesterday, I look at a lot of these hero cards, of course, as people are selling these because they're needing to go um, and get coins to do the hero player pick, or if they packed some of these guys today, uh, yesterday, or today, if they're crafting an SBC, um, that's why these prices are going down. But these cards went low. They Some of them had slight bounce backs, but now they're back down to where they were. And that just tells me that not a lot of people are paying the big bucks for these higher tier, higher rated cards. But I saw some lower rated cards that dropped down in price that kind of came back up. And especially right now with a lot of the Siri uh, hype that is out there with the Origi, with the uh, Mkhitaryan SBC. We have another leaked Siri uh, player right now um, coming as an SBC maybe today, maybe tomorrow with a Radu. Um, Stefan Radu 
Syria center back card. This is like Syria center backs are always needed, right? So if these are going to be the stats in this card, hopefully it's pretty cheap. But that could be even more Syria hype coming into the game. I think a lot of people are today uh, are investing in uh, a Centurions right back Calabria. I mean, I think this is a very smart buy. It could go up a little bit today uh, with the Berardi objective that is out, with the Origi that a lot of people are doing, the AC Milan links in general. A lot of people are looking at this card as a cheap option that maybe would rise up today after rewards are paid out. But again, the key is... Is, is there still enough demand on the less than 200k side of the market to make this stuff go up today? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to try it out and try to trade and buy a few cards, but I'm not going to go all in. And just honestly, I, I took the weekend off of trading. I really did not buy too much at all. And I'm glad that I did because the market just didn't move a ton. You could have got some quick flips here or there. I am very interested in buying Zlatan. If he, if he goes like another two, 300K lower, he's being panic sold right now. He's like three, 2.7, um, 2.73, 2.6. So if I see this at like two, five, will I be very tempted to pick him up because I want to try him out today? Absolutely. But I'm going to be pretty careful with my coins otherwise, just because, again, we are still headed right into that team new time frame, and that's only for the quick flips side of the market. Now, like I said, other content that could drop today, maybe another sort of upgrade pack SBC or a player pick. Hopefully, the 81 doubles come back because I know how loved those are, how solid they are, and how good they could be for crafting uh, these SBCs this week, like I want to do, or also saving for team of the year. I hope it's the 81 double. Please, EA Sports, hear this and just release the same thing you did last week because that SBC is really good value, especially for team of the year. Um, and then other than that, the other thing I want to shout out today for just a bit of potential is, yeah, it may seem too early, but could we be in for a loading screen today? EA really loved to milk the team of the year promo with like graphics and with posts that they put out. I just think that there is maybe a slight chance today that we see a loading screen for team of the year. Now, the only thing that I would say is maybe uh, that uh, argument against that is yesterday we had some random FGS SB, uh, loading screen that was dropped. We, of course, had the Centurions telling us what's in packs. We have the Team of the Week loading screen. I, I don't know why EA is not showing me loading screens, but they dropped some other random loading screen about like the pro event that is happening uh, today. So that's another thing that is there that maybe could deter that. But EA loves to milk Team of the Year. So either today, tomorrow, maybe today, honestly, could be a day where we see a loading screen. We'll be checking out for that, but I feel like it's low potential but that potential is there for the game today it also could be a pretty quiet day of content if we only get an upgrade pack sbc maybe that player sbc or maybe it's just the upgrade pack and that is it it might be a pretty quiet day today for content as well that could mean some decent movements for the market uh but you know i think i would still be very very careful with buying cards to try to trade with right now just because most people are not wanting to spend too many coins on their team and that's why I'm being careful at the moment. But we have to watch like Mbappe, those out of packs cards that have dropped off a good amount. And there probably will be some fluctuations today. But who knows? Even today on Monday, who who knows? There could be even more panic selling as we start to get more and more news and get closer and closer to team of the year the market is really starting to feel like it's just kind of not crashing like yesterday we definitely had some big drop-offs but it's i don't know feeling a lot more dead than it was we still had demand while it was stagnant last week but it's it's feeling a bit dead to me right now we'll see what happens throughout the rest of this week and what panic is created and what news comes out but that's going to be the video for me today guys if you did enjoy smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out.